All right, cheap hydroponics. I just got my first light sent to me by Spider Farmer. Pretty excited. They want me to review their lights. So we're gonna go ahead and do an unboxing. Then I'll set it up. Then I'll take some measurements with my meter. And we'll take a look at this bad boy. Let's open it up. All right, packaging looks nice. Nice foam to support it. Uh, what do we got here? Very nice brochure. Definitely a lot better than ordering lights from China. This one goes into detail on some stuff. I'll review that and I'll let you guys know if there's anything important. We got our power cord. Looks like a standard power cord. Hangers. Very nice. And what is this? I bet you this is the power supply. Yep, that's the power supply. Very nice. I mean, it looks like almost like your standard computer power supply and cord, which is nice because if you have a problem, probably can be very easily replaced. All right, let's take a look. Ooh, very nice. Very nice quantum board. I'm not sure I'll have to take a look. I'll have to take a look to see how many LEDs there are. I know there's a bunch. Ooh, I'm pretty excited. This guy looks very nice. I mean, it's nice and long. Very slim. Spider Farmer. So you can mount this under a shelf. Perfect for cracky. Uh, you can put it in your grow tent. Wow. I'm pretty excited. All right, now we're gonna test the Lux. My Lux meter just came in on three different lights. Actually, I'm gonna do, this is a cheap, uh, they call it purple. It said 150 watts. I paid like $45 for it. I'm also gonna tech, test the cheap quantum board. You can pick this up for about 40 bucks. And I'm also going to test my high-end Optic One Cree cob light. These are available now for about $140. I think I paid $200 for it about three years ago. I got three of these. Man, I'll never buy those again. So let's go ahead and test the Lux here. I'm going to do six inches apart. The rope hanging down is six inches from the light. I'll hit the hold button. And we're looking at about, put a zero on the end, 19,000 Lux for the purple. All right, now we're going to test the cheap quantum board. I'll hold it. We're looking 90,000. So big difference between the cheap purple, 19,000 versus the cheap quantum board. Four times as bright. And then another thing I'm gonna go over is heat. You know, the purple, I can pretty much hold my hand right here. It's a little warm right here, two inches away, inch away. It's not even hot. The quantum board right here, I mean, I gotta back down to Four, four inches away. Too close, I mean it's hot, it'll burn. So it's gotta be at least that far away. Let's go ahead and test the Cree light now. All right, let's do the number on the, all right, come on work meter. There we go, six inches away. Hold. We're looking about 
No, I didn't do it. So now we're on the Cree, hold it, add two zeros, so we're at 93,000. Even a little brighter, but I mean, you're talking four times the price. Same thing with the heat. I mean, if I, if I touch that, that's hot. You gotta be at least four inches away. These two lights get very hot. All right, so that's those three. Let's go over, we're gonna test the Sprout, and then we're gonna test the Spider Farm. All right, let's go ahead and test the Sprout. The Sprout is 10 watts. So we're looking at, hold it, only 9,000 lux. Yeah, so, big difference. Now let's go test the Spider Farmer. Let's do the spider farmer. The spider farmer is four feet wide. So hold it. We're at 21,000 lux. So it's, it's more than the sprout. Probably comparable to, let's say, the harvest. Cool wise. I mean, I can't even really feel much heat. There's nothing. Inch away, it's fine. But it gives you a lot more space. I mean, we're dealing with four feet of space versus the other lights will only cover half that. And then this is also half the amount of electricity. You know, this is 75 watts. Over there, those lots are 85 watts for the quantum board, 150 for the purple, and 54 watts for the cob. And I take all three of the lights to power that. I'm only going to use 75 watts, and I'm going to move all four tubs over here, and I'm going to use one third of the electricity. So it's a little less bright, but a lot more coverage it's perfect for cracky perfect for these tubs you know for your determined freaking plants that are only going to get you know 12 inches tall 24 inches tall i wouldn't try to grow a four foot tall tomato plant under this light you know i'm going to test the next spider farmer light in a couple months and it'll be a little more expensive a little more watts and probably a lot more brighter but this is a great entry level light. I highly recommend it. You know, great on the electrical bill. Great coverage wise. I mean, you're going to cover a two foot space by four feet long. You're not going to be able to get anything like that. It's a good, good light. So my overall review, definitely recommend it. You know, but it also depends on what you're growing and the space. You know, this right here, you can mount this underneath a cabinet. Super slim. Perfect to go under a cabinet. Perfect to go under shelves. You know, it's a great light for the hobbyist. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Day 18. I'm really liking this light. I wish I could have got this video done two weeks ago. But you know what? If I'm going to test a light, part of testing it is I got to let the plants grow. So here we are. And I got to say, it is amazing. Sugar snap peas, they're over here. They're just going out of control. I keep pushing them back and making them go where they need to go. They're going all the way up here. They're going all over here. They're, they're taking over everything. We have eggplant popping off. Catnip, loving it. 
Back here, cilantro. I've already taken some cilantro off. I still have a, a bush of cilantro back there. My goodness. We have, right here is a cucumber. He's starting to take off. You can see him starting to vine right here. There's some vines coming off of him right here. He's starting to get going. I have a watermelon. I'm gonna split all these up, separate them. Tomatoes, oh my goodness, this tomato is just taking off the stem on him. It's almost like my finger. My goodness. Yeah. We got flowers coming in. Where are the flowers? Let's see the flowers. There we go. We got some flowers. I mean, I just started these guys five, six weeks ago. And they're huge. I mean, here's my arm. There's the top of the tomato. I'm going to raise the light. Cannabis. Loving it. I'm going to transplant these guys outside. Lettuce. Amazing. It's so thick. I mean, you can hear it. I mean, no weak lettuce here. Oh, man. We've already harvested it. Had a few, few salads. Good, good stuff. Peppers. They're going slow, but it's not the light's fault. No. It's my temperature's fault. I'm up in the Sierra Mountains by Yosemite. Still getting snow. So I got a high of 68, a low of 54 in here. So, I mean, it's cold. My cabin will warm up a little bit in the next couple weeks once summer starts kicking in in spring. Peppers will start going better. But for 75 watts, this light, I can give my thumbs up on it. I like it. 75 watts covering one, two, three, four tubs 11 pods in each one that's 44 plants with 75 watts man good stuff spider farmer looking forward to test their next stuff but on this first one if you're limited space you want to mount it up high you want to mount it under a shelf great great light so that's it. Hit that subscribe button. Keep on watching my videos. I'm going to start making more videos.